guys, this is Zach, aka M1 Blood from Mach 1. Uh, today we're going to be bringing you the HyperX Cloud Pro Gaming headset. Um, as you can see, pretty nice packaging comes in. Uh, inside of the box, it also has another package with the which the actual headset will come in. Uh, we'll see that later in the video. Um, overall, the headset's a pretty well-known headset uh, used by SK Gaming Alliance and Team Liquid. So pro pro teams do use the headset. So probably is pretty decent. Um, we start off with an aluminum build. Uh, the headset's pretty sturdy. Probably not going to break on you, which is a good thing because obviously nobody wants to have their headset break on them. Uh, second thing we have is leather um, head strap. It's very nice, uh, very comfortable. You can wear it for hours, won't feel it, won't bother you to wear at all times. And that's a good thing as a gamer, because obviously we like to play our games. Yeah. Uh, third thing is audio box. It has a pretty decent audio box on it. Um, just like every other headset you would expect, it has a mute button on it, up and down with the volume, great thing. Uh, leather uh, ear caps, uh, they're very also very comfortable, just like the head strap. And you wear it for hours, won't bother you. It also has Velour uh, caps that you can put on. Uh, not recommended, but if you want to, you can use it. Um, fifth, closed ear caps. Most headphones now that people use or headsets that people use are closed ear caps, but these are very comfortable, like I said, with the leather and very good noise canceling. Most of the time, nothing's gonna leak out, so you're good. Uh, 53 millimeter drivers on the headset, so that's good. And then it does come with a mic. The mic isn't the best mic, which is Probably the worst thing of the entire headset. It's still not too bad, but it's also a detachable mic, so if you want to take it off, you can and use a different mic, and that's always good. And earlier in the video, this is the box that the headset actually comes in. As you can see, nice HyperX on there. It's a very sturdy box, not going to break on you. Uh, shouldn't really be breaking your box anyway. I don't know why you would. But inside the box, we have nice foam to protect the headset, which is obviously very important as the headset is what you're buying. Um, right here we have the headset itself, uh, aluminum build, very sturdy, um, nice leather head strap, uh, very comfortable, can barely even feel that I have it on. Uh, we have the leather ear caps on, which are my favorite, like I said before, um, very good at noise canceling, I can barely hear myself talk right now, which is a good thing, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, it's very comfortable, maneuverable, not going to slow you down in your gaming, because I know there are crazy gamers out there that move around a lot. I am one of them. Here we have the audio box, pretty simple audio box, like every other one. Uh, you have a plug-in for your mic and your headphones. Uh, we have the mute button and volume. Uh, it's also made of aluminum and very sturdy. Most likely you're not going to break your audio box. Don't really know why you would in the first place, but I mean, if you're a dangerous person like Derek, you might. Uh, here we have the mic, uh, detachable mic, obviously. Um, like we said before, mic's not the best. Um, if you're doing more of a casual game with your friends, microphone will work fine. Shouldn't bother anybody too much unless they have really amazing ears and good for them, I guess. But, you know, uh, but if you're going for something more professional, you may want to look into buying a better mic. Um, although I would assume that if you're trying to do something more professional, you probably have a better mic anyway. Uh, but yeah, the inside of the box looks like that when it comes to you. Uh, nice foam in here also to keep the headset itself um, protected. Uh, also, again, nice HyperX right there. Uh, like I said, very sturdy box. Um, overall, we're probably going to give this headset an 8 out of 10, simply because the microphone isn't the best. Like I said, though, it works for casual gamers, but overall, we you would hope it would, everything would be perfect to get a 10 out of 10, right? Uh, so we're going to give you the realistic thing. It's an 8 out of 10. Uh, would we recommend it? Definitely. It's a good headset, very comfortable, wear it all the time, doesn't bother us. Um, really, it's a good headset, and... We hope that you enjoyed this review slash look at our headset and maybe you want to buy it. Uh, if so, we will have links down below where you can find this headset and the pricing. So this is Mach 1. Thank you. And there's no bad thing about it. But um, with that said, the... Um, You can, no, you can't do stuff like that. 8 out of 10. Though. No, I know. I was going to get there. You're bad. You screwed it up, Derek. I am bad. Don't.